frugal gal here. I am driving around in the town that I live outside of. A lot of times when I say my hometown, well, every time I say my hometown, I don't live in town. I haven't lived in town in this town, but this is the town that I grew up around. So anyway, I am actually out yard sailing today. So there's usually not a lot of good yard sales in my hometown. Quote, I hate when people do that, but oh well, quote. I just did, I just went to one, I thought, well, maybe I should film. I did go to one and I found saw, um, a new set of queen sheets that I need. I've been looking for queen sheets because I'm not paying 40, 50, 60 dollars for brand new sheets. Sorry, I don't do it. I buy my sheets at a thrift store or yard sale and other people might say, oh, that's gross. Oh, wash them and get over it. You know, when you, when you got less cash, you, you do what you got to do. I don't think if I had more cash, I'd pay 50 or 60 dollars for sheets. But anyway, I'm going to stop here because... I don't know if this is how it is where you guys live in your quote unquote hometowns, but I looked in the newspaper and there was only like one listed for today. I'm gonna turn off that clanker so you don't have to hear it. And um, I'm stopped now to stop something. But what I don't, what um, I knew there would be more because people aren't gonna pay to put their ad in the paper. I wouldn't. I'm frugal. Hello. Um, so I'm just driving around. I like to try to drive around even when there's not signs the best neighborhoods in town because to see if the good, you know, the, the nice, nice houses are having them because if I usually follow signs, it's in, uh, I don't, even though I've lived around this town for like, what, 40 years now, most of, I mean, I've moved away a few times, but um, I don't know the names of the streets. I just know that it's up there, you know, um, by that place over there, you know. But when I start driving through the neighborhoods, and I'm like, uh, no, that's our town. And I don't know about you, but a lot, of, a lot of small towns like this one is becoming more and more bad side of town is all over because drugs have infiltrated. And now we're going to open up our own marijuana dispensary. So proud. Made front page news. I think it's stupid. Okay, I, I think in like 10 years, 20 years, we're going to look back and be like, you know, we probably shouldn't have opened those marijuana dispensaries because <gasps> marijuana is addictive and it wasn't, it wasn't a good idea. Maybe y'all should just learn how to take your prescription correctly. Sorry, not going to get into a political discussion, but you know, come on. I've been on narcotic pain pills and if you take them correctly, you're fine. Um, but anyway, our town has become very much um, a lot of drugs, which is sad. But so I'm going to go around if I find any more, I'll show you um, the yard sale and then what I am going to pick up. Hopefully I'll find some things to resell or things for myself. Here is my bag. Here is my, see, five bucks for a queen set of sheets still brand new in the plastic wrap. Um, my mom loves those. These, you know how when you buy curtains or paneling or anything, you know, panels for your, or sheets. Mom loves these bags because she saves them and she stores other things in them. Okay, I'll let you guys go. I will be back soon to show you. I might keep it on for a little bit. Turn the camera around. Just let you look at this. Don't move here. If I had a choice. I would not live close to this town. Trust me, it's getting that bad. But anyway, I will um, be back in a minute. Okay, I'm in another yard sale. It's in a good part of town. I don't know if you can see it back there. It's back in the backyard I can't zoom in but I'm gonna go and see if there's anything good I hope I don't get hit because I'm on this really narrow used to be a gravel road but they paved it you know across from this field so I'm like hoping nobody comes by and hits me so let's go check it out I won't film it though that would be rude okay that yard sale wasn't too bad it was actually interesting because the lady was telling me she gets all of her stuff from um, buying out of storage units and I said, well, I had thought about doing that, but I thought after the TV shows and everything, it all went up in price. But she says she does it online by storage units, and she even gave me some insight about um, you know, where she does it, and she gets, she said, whole ones for 50 or $75, so I might be looking into that. Some good information, if not anything else. And I did find one piece of jewelry. It is signed BJC, um, and I think the year is 96 on it. It is a bracelet it has a horse on it you see that I know a lot of people like horses and then it has the the chain and everything with the ring and it's a horse sorry my light's terrible so I paid five dollars for that and I think I could sell it for quite a bit more 
is it silver? I doubt it. There are some marks on it. But I know I BJC is a I've heard of that jewelry company. Right now I can't think of what it is. I'll probably want to edit this, put it in here. But all of her stuff was wet, but that wasn't her fault. It's very hot today here in Missouri. Uh, our heat index is going to get up to over 100 this morning. I'm on a new sleep schedule, which I'm going to do a different video about that. And I got I've been up since four o'clock, but it's good because I've been going to bed a lot earlier. But anyway, I'll talk about that later. Um, so I've been out doing this. It's 8:30 right now, about 8:30, and I've been out doing this since a little after about 7:30. But today when I got up, all the windows on my travel trailer and my mom's house were all, you know, con condensation, you know, all foggy with that. And I have some chairs that my mom gave me because she got some new rockers for a porch. And the um, cushions on them were just like you drenched them in water as if you had a hose and you sprayed them. So that's why all of her stuff was wet because she had cookbooks that I really liked to look through, but they were all wet. So anyway, I'm going to go on and see if I find anything else. I don't know if I would. I've been around town and I really haven't seen anything else. This is how it goes. You only usually find a couple. I did find another one, but I don't want to didn't want to stop at it because it didn't look that great, and there was a lot of guys there that were running it. And I'm, I don't know if that's a woman thing, but I just don't like shopping, doing that when there's guys there. Um, I'm not comfortable, and if I'm not comfortable in a situation, I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and drive out of here, and you might see me later, or this might be the end of the video. We never know. But I did find a piece of jewelry for five dollars. She had other jewelry, but it was all five dollars a piece, and they were really tiny rings, like it looked like a size two. But it was interesting. And I got some good information to find shop online for some storage units. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks, guys. I will be back, or uh, this will be the end. Whichever way, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, you know. Do it. Bye.